This is the video that was played on February 6th live for everyone to watch. If you notice, these screens here at the bottom are the same video feed. Okay, now they look different because, and I'll show you why if I can get them to work. Okay, that one's the same, but every once in a while I'd press play and I would realize that they were off sync. Uh, that's on, that's on, on, on. Okay, let's see here. Usually you can get them to pause and they'd be off. Okay, this one here. If you can tell, this video here is different than this one. You can kind of tell there's a little more white here than there is here. So at first I was thinking, oh, it is two different feeds. But if you just click through one time, play, then the next scene is always the same because all it is is one frame off. So sometimes, like there, you'll pause it and it's perfect. You'll see here, the same exact frame. But then if I press play and pause again, there, it's different. See how here there's a little dark spot here, it's white. Now if I just real quick press play, pause, it'll be the same, watch, play. Okay, now it's the same. What's happening is it's one frame off. Okay, so when you pause, you can sometimes get it to be perfect, sometimes it's one off, okay? That's what was shown live. I made the point of saying that this was done deliberately because there's no other reason why, let me show you this here, let me get a little closer. When you're watching this, why would one of the screens be cropped? Okay, that has to be purposely done. Meaning if you look here, look at the distance between this triangle, this triangle right here, and this one. Okay, this screen has been cropped to make it look different than this screen and then offset by a frame so that they're different. Okay, now, if somebody wants to come and say, Jaron, actually, they just accidentally fed the same video feed to the screen. That's fine. They made a mistake. Understood. I'd still have questions about, well, why is it cropped? Why would they crop the one view, the same feed as the other one? But you know what? You could argue that. That's fine. And I would say, well, it's a deception. And you would say, no, it's an accident. Whatever. We can argue about that all day. But the fact of the matter is, it's the same video. That's been proven. You can go down here to the end and watch them both land. And we'll see here. As they're coming down, they are both going towards the white in the middle of the black. See this? Black with white in the middle. Okay, they're going down. Oh, I'm sorry, they're going towards the white, this one. The white with the black in the middle. Here they go. Okay, both these are about to land on the white with the black X. Okay, so that's the video that played live. Here it is again. They're both going towards the same thing because it's the same feed. It's just this one is cropped. Okay, that's that's fine. That's what happened. I made a video. I talked about it. Everybody, we move on. It's another day. Now, if you go to SpaceX's video today, okay, and I'll show that again before I go here. All you have to do is go to their Falcon Heavy, Falcon Heavy test flight. Let me swap this so you can see what I'm doing. You can see that this video here is their video. There is no other video from the day. It still says streamed live on February 6, 2018, right here. Doesn't say anywhere that this was edited. Doesn't say, hey, hello, we changed this. Hey, we inserted something different because it's not allowed because it's not something you're allowed to do. So when you look at this one, tell me why now we've got these things coming down and all of a sudden, oops, it's a little different than the live feed in the fact that now one of them's going towards the black and one of them's going towards the white. Now you've got these things landing on two separate pads. But it says live streamed. It doesn't, it, they didn't get to lose their views. They didn't get to lose their likes. They were able to change history. Nobody else in the history of YouTube that I've ever seen has been allowed to do that. Never seen somebody change a live stream. Maybe they, if they want to download it and then re-upload it as another video. Hey, this is an updated video changed off the screen. We changed a mistake we made in the other one. So you can either watch the live stream where we made a mistake, or you can watch the re-upload where we fixed it. That's the proper thing to do. Not to go and change a live stream. In order to do that, you have to have contacted Google and talk to somebody specifically and gotten permission to do something that nobody else is allowed to do. And who in the hell at Google is going to agree with that? Hey, we want to change our live stream. What do you mean? Why? Because we made a mistake. Well, what kind of mistake? We forgot to put in a video feed. Okay, you made a mistake. Oh, well, get over it. People do it all the time. But sorry, the rule is you upload a live stream, it's live. You got to deal with it. But crybaby Musk is allowed to get away with it? Give me a freaking break. What if I was allowed 
to change my live streams. Say one thing, then you guys make comments about it, make videos about it, and I'll go back in time and change what I said. But you think people would have a problem with that? Of course they would. Why would somebody be allowed to do that? Especially when people have made videos pointing out flaws in your video, and then you just go change it? Switch it up? No, oh, that didn't happen. This guy's full of it. He just changed it on his own. Look at this. If you believe this, you are a joke. I'm sorry. I mean, you whatever. You can believe whatever you want. Just enjoy yourselves. I mean, if you think this is taken from space, that this is what it looks like, I mean, come on. Uh, it's just ridiculous. If you think just because you film rockets go up in the sky that this is real, how do you not see the disconnect there? How do you not see the disconnect between just because you, you see things go up in the sky that this is real? Again, your video evidence is great. It's a great show. It's the equivalent of me going and watching David Copperfield make a car disappear in front of an audience. I'm filming with my video camera, and then I bring it to you and I say, you won't acknowledge my evidence of cars disappearing. And I would hope you would say, cars don't disappear, guy. That's impossible. That Your videotape is not evidence. It's evidence that you went and saw a show. They put on a show for you. They put things up in the sky. They came down and landed. 40,000 40, pound candlesticks landed back on Earth softly and didn't blow a half mile hole in the ground. You want to believe that? By all means, believe in magic. If somebody wants to believe in David Copperfield that he made the uh, Statue of Liberty disappear, more power to him. Enjoy yourselves. Have all the fun you want. Yeah, I'm sure he did make it disappear. Oh, you have a video camera footage of it? Great. Yeah, good evidence. Uh, I don't care. You can't make the Statue of Liberty disappear. You went and saw a good show. Just like you can't make 40,000-pound candlesticks come down at this mock speed, and then you shoot out a little fire, and they land softly.